up loves it's kyra and welcome to my kitchen today we are going to be making the best and the greatest macaroni and cheese ever thanksgiving is coming up okay jumping right into it i'm just going to show y'all what y'all need to make the best macaroni and cheese okay I don't care what your grandma did. I don't care what your auntie said. This is what's, what's gonna really, you know, let's go. You're gonna need some pet milk. Ha ha ha. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna use that much of elbows because I'm only making a small pan. You're gonna need some salt. And I'm gonna use this to boil my noodles. Using this salt. You're gonna need two eggs. I just like to use two eggs. You're gonna need some paprika, cause I don't know where you from, but we like to, you know, swizzle that on the end. You know? <laughs> You're gonna need some cheese. Like my macaroni and cheese be bomb, cause I use like all these different kind of cheeses, okay? This is this is the tricks to everything. You're gonna need some Kraft mozzarella, some mild cheddar, some sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar. Nah, I'm embarrassed to even pull this out, but everybody bought all the Kobe and Jake. Like, what's going on? So I had to get great value. Don't judge me. I already know y'all judging me already. Everybody from, you know, that make macaroni and, and cheese I already judged me. But all they had was great value, so that's what I'm using today. And you're gonna need a little pan or, you know, for Thanksgiving, you're gonna need a big pan. And even if you get a big pan, you still can use one box, so. But today, I'm only gonna make a small pan because Thanksgiving in like two days and I don't wanna make too much. Yeah. And you're going to need some butter, okay? Some good butter. This is the kind that I like to use. So I am filling up my pan with the butter because we're about to get ready to boil it. Yes, sir. Oh, a little salt in that water. You have to do that. Pour your elbow in the water. I'm gonna use half of this box because I'm making a little, a little bit. You can't wait until the water start boiling first. I should have did, but I guess I'm too excited to make this video, so it's okay. Just wait for the water, you know. All right, mix that macaroni in the pot. So, it's time to take them out. One thing you don't wanna do is overcook these noodles because that would definitely mess up the whole macaroni and cheese. Do not overcook the noodles, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drain these. I'm gonna head over here to my sink. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain these out. You're gonna go ahead and pour your noodles. Like I said, I'm making a small little pan, so I don't want too much noodles. The thing about some creamy macaroni, you wanna make sure you add a little bit of water in that pot. Just to make sure it's gonna be a little creamy. Next, I'm gonna take my butter, and I'm going to use half of that. Mm. And you're gonna evenly Get this all over the noodles. Okay. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
make sure the macaroni is evenly spread it out. And I like to use a little bit of seasoning salt because it gives it a little bit of taste. And you're just gonna layer that on the top, not too much. Then you're gonna mix all of this in together. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my eggs and I'm gonna pour them in. And this just helps the macaroni to stick together. Okay, now this is the part where you want to go ahead and start adding your cheeses. There's really no specific order, you just add your cheese. For some reason, I like to go in with my sharp cheddar and I'm gonna use half of this. Then you're gonna blend this all in. Then you're gonna do your mouth. You see at first it looks crazy, but you literally just keep building it up. Next, I'm gonna take my Kobe. Okay, you're gonna keep. Mixing that together. Then you're gonna go in with your mozzarella cheese. the Velveeta. I forgot to mention that. No macaroni is good without Velveeta. That's just my opinion. Now we're going to add our pet milk. You need this. I'm only gonna use a little bit of this because I'm, I have a little pan, so you don't need too much of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue to mix this up because you want everything to be in there equally, like I keep saying, that's the thing of macaroni. I think my macaroni is blended well. So that's why I'm patting this down and getting ready to layer this with my cheese. And that's the reason why I use half the bag because I'm gonna go in with the other half and I'm gonna spread it all around. So I'm gonna go ahead with my sharp. Make sure you cover up those pieces where you can see the noodles. Making sure it looks nice. If you want, you can add that Velveeta on top. It's up to you. But I don't really like to add it on top. I only like it in the middle. After that, this is optional, but I love the way it gives the macaroni a little bit of color. So I'm just gonna sprinkle my paprika over the top. Evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my macaroni in some aluminum foil. And the reason why you wanna do this is because when it's baking in the oven, you don't want the top to burn first. So that's why you wanna cover up the top and let it cook, let it cook from the bottom up.
Now, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven next to my baked chicken that I'm baking for the family tonight. And this is gonna stay here for about 30 minutes. And we'll be back when it's done. Macaroni is in the oven, and I'm just chilling with some of the family. My son, Chris. You ready for macaroni? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they eat so much. Happy right here. <laughs> he doesn't like the camera like that. You ready for some macaroni? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What about you, Leia? Yes! The family do love macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to pull up my macaroni out. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out the oven. All right guys, so be careful because it is hot coming up out that oven. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the top. Beautiful macaroni. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Nice and sizzling. And you can see up in there that it is done. All right, so my macaroni is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. 